This is a brief overview of Live 2D Cubism Editor. This is going to be very short and very quick, just to show you the workflow. So if you want to learn more about particular functions, check out our online tutorials. The first thing you need is original raster image, whether it's painting or illustration. And you use Photoshop to set it up as a texture file for modeling. Now it's ready for Cubism Editor. I just loaded a texture file onto the modeler tool. And I'm mapping polygons on each object for deformation, like this. When placing objects on a canvas, make sure to use a guide image in the background so you can place the objects in exactly right positions. After the objects are placed, you start deforming them using deformers. Deformation you make can be saved and controlled by assigning a motion parameter to it. Motion parameters will later be used to animate the model. These are parameters for turning the head on a vertical axis and horizontal axis. And this one is for left eye, one end being fully open and the other fully shut. And another parameter for the arch for expression of the eyebrow. Now I come into the animator tool. I just loaded the model which I just built Notice that every time I control a motion parameter, a keyframe is created on a timeline, and in-betweens are automatically generated. You can also load an audio file for automatic lip sync. Animation can be output as a movie file or image sequence. You can also write motion data which you can use to control the model real-time on an interactive media like games and apps. This wraps up the very brief overview of the workflow of Cubism Editor.